Hey, class, in this podcast, I want to talk, this is the real insider World War II podcast. And it's about the second invasion of France, which occurred in August of uh, 1944. And uh, it, it was originally called Operation Dr uh, Anvil, but then its name was changed to Oper Operation Dragoon. Um, it was hugely successful. It was a hugely successful invasion of France. And let me show you, um, I'll try to remember to put this map um, on the module. But what happened is, is in the in this campaign, in this secondary, so here is um, Normandy up, uh, up here. And this second invasion of France, which happened two months later, um, Troops from Italy came into southern France near Toulon and Marseille and created a second front, a second thrust uh, 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 up from southern France um, into, uh, the, into Germany. Um, and I want to talk about this because it, it proved incredibly important um, in the Allied victory. So... This was a, an operation that Churchill hated. He hated the idea of this. He uh, threatened to resign if the, the US uh, went through with this operation. Um, he said that George Marshall was part of the stupidest strategic team ever seen, and that's a direct quote. And um, so what it is, is the Allied invasion of Southern France, which happened about two months after D-Day. And the Soviets uh, uh, supported this. The Soviet Union wanted this invasion of Southern France because they believed that uh, Overlord wasn't enough, that what the allies had to have in France were two fronts, not just one. That the Germans needed to be attacked from the South, from like I say, Southern France, Marseille and Toulon as well as from the beaches of Normandy. And so Stalin, this was an idea that Stalin thought was very, very significant, this second invasion of France. The US got behind it as well, but Churchill, uh, again, uh, Churchill is misfiring all over the place. He just doesn't believe in this secondary invasion of France. He didn't even believe in the Normandy operation. He didn't believe in Overlord. But he especially opposed um, what, I again, it was initially uh, called Operation Anvil, and then its name was changed to Operation Dragoon. Um, so what Stalin wants and what he urged is an invasion through southern France was the best way to augment Operation Overlord. So if you if you're looking at the map, so so Allied troops are banging away at the Germans in this part of France, right across the channel from England. But Stalin also believes that you have to have believed you also had to have an invasion through southern France to support the uh, attack. Uh, on Normandy. Um, and so he argued for this. He argued for these more or less simultaneous attacks. And um, the United States and the United States military, they bought this idea. Uh, the planners, uh, U.S. planners thought it made a lot more, a lot of sense. Um, and what U.S. planners really liked about the, the opening uh, up of this southern route, this attack on France in August of 1944, what they really liked about it was that it opened up a different supply route, uh, a supply route uh, for men and, and supplies and goods um, uh, to the front other than just Overlord. And this proves significant because uh, as successful as Overlord was, we were able to get our troops uh, uh, on the ground in France. As successful as it was, it took a while to capture some of the ports in this part of France. And it turned out the Allies needed a different supply line. And this is what the invasion of Southern France offered, um, a, a different supply line, a separate supply line from the South uh, into the interior of France and ultimately, of course, uh, into Germany. Now, Churchill hated this idea. He wanted to keep troops in Italy, 
Uh, he didn't want to pr pull troops from Italy in into an invasion of southern France. And um, he just fought this even more tooth and nail than he fought uh, uh, Overlord. And in fact, initially he was successful. The planning for this, the invasion of southern France from Italy, um, initially it actually was canned. Uh, it was canceled uh, in early 1944. And uh, even before D-Day, this, this idea of a southern in, uh, an invasion of southern France uh, was canceled by the the Joint Chiefs of Staffs, by the British and the Americans, and this was just because they they were running out of troops, um, and they were also running out of uh, landing ships. So for a while, Churchill got his wish. The invasion of Southern France looked like it was gonna, wasn't going to happen, but the commander of U.S. forces in Southern France he kept banging away at this idea. He kept saying, "Look, we have to do this. We have to create uh, another attack point in France against the Germans. We can't just attack across the English Channel into Normandy. We also need to attack the Germans through Southern France, through Marseille, and, and through Toulon. At the very least, we need to establish a, a new supply route." Um, to augment um, uh, our supplies and what's going on with our troops uh, in Normandy. And so the success of D-Day um, allowed uh, Anvil, later Dragoon, same thing, uh, it, it got the green light after D-Day. And um, so uh, D-Day was so successful and it went relatively smoothly. Uh, there weren't nearly the losses that the Allies thought that there were going to be during D-Day. And um, um, the, it was it was green lit again. It was green lit again. So this invasion of southern France. And again, the troops that were part of this invasion would come from Italy. They would cross into they would be shipped fr from Italy into southern France and then they would move up um, the eastern border of France this way. Uh, to, to augment the uh, invasion of France and the attacking troops that are coming this way uh, from the beaches, I guess I, I got it wrong here, from the beaches of Normandy, okay? Um, Churchill was furious about it. Uh, he thought, uh, again, he was arguing for an attack against the Balkans. And the other thing is, at this point, Churchill's thinking about the post-war uh, he's thinking about post-war France, and he's hoping that if he can get troops through Italy into this part of Europe, he can checkmate the Soviet Union uh, as the Soviet army is starting to move into Eastern Europe. So Churchill, one of the reasons that he opposes uh, Operation Anvil, which becomes Dragoon, is that it takes away from his desire in the post-war period to put Allied troops into Eastern Europe in order to checkmate uh, uh, the Soviet troops that are moving west uh, from the Soviet Union. Um, he doesn't, Churchill doesn't persuade um, uh, the Americans. Uh, uh, the Americans have made a promise to Stalin that they uh, will invade Southern France. And it turned out to be a, an enormous success. Really, it was the most successful uh, operation in the Medi Mediterranean since the capture of the quarter of a million troops in North Africa and Tunis um, in what, uh, early 1943. About 100,000 uh, Allied troops um, landed uh, in the Marseille, Toulon area. Um, 95 were killed. Uh, of course, any death is tragic, but that, those, those are very, very light casualties, really. And 385 were wounded. Um, now, if we want to compare that to Overlord, i.e. D-Day, 156,000 soldiers landed on the first day and, and 2,000 were killed. So after the successful landing um, uh, in, in southern France, just as the Americans hoped, American troops uh, with their uh, allies, especially their French allies, they motored up the, um, the eastern border of uh, France. Uh, they didn't make it all the way to Paris, 
they finally ran ahead of their supply lines, especially gas. But uh, they did, they were successful. And be, because they captured Marseille and Toulon, they, they, just, they captured these, uh, these ports before the Germans could destroy them. Uh, one of the things about the invasion of southern France, it was a real surprise to the Germans. So the, the U.S., in, beginning in August of uh, 1944, two months after D-Day, captured two par- ports in southern France that were fairly intact. And they were able to, we were able to establish a different supply line that was different from the supply line uh, in northern France, which proved very, very critical because uh, it took a while for our troops to break out of the of, of the Normandy area uh, into the mainland of France. Um, so Churchill never uh, forgave uh, the uh, invasion of southern France. Um, he argued till his dying day that uh, troops could have been used that were used to invade southern France, that allied troops could have been used to go into the Balkans to checkmate the Soviet Union, uh, the troops of the Soviet Union who were, who were moving into Eastern Europe and who captured Eastern Europe until about, about 1990. Um, and once again, uh, we see a, a divergence in the British and the American strategies during the war, and also their different post-war visions. Um, Roosevelt and the Allies aren't really thinking about stopping the Soviets at this point, for better or for worse. But even if it had been, even if our side, if the Americans had been thinking of that, I, I think as we've learned in this class, it would have been very, very, very hard to get Allied troops into the Balkans to checkmate uh, Soviet troops that were moving east. The, the, it, it was just too tough, and the, the Germans were just too determined to hold that ground. So uh, Churchill has this strategic vision, but the thing is, could he have executed it? And it's very unclear if he could have executed it. Um, so uh, once again, uh, Churchill uh, is overridden. Uh, by the U.S. The U.S. uh, decides it it needs to invade southern France. It needs to create a a different point of attack against the Germans. Above all, it needs a new supply, a different supply line than the Normandy area. And uh, Operation Anvil, which becomes Operation Dragoon, is one of the great, great U.S. successes um, in World War II, and it's almost completely forgotten today. Everything gets overshadowed in D-Day. D-Day becomes just kind of a shorthand for the American effort during the Civil War. Somehow, like, we landed in Normandy in June of 44 and the war was over. Well, that's not true at all. The toughest fighting for American troops against the Germans was was just really about to start, especially um, in the fall and winter of 1944 into 1945. And the supply lines of the ports that were captured in southern France proved absolutely critical uh, to the Allied success, um, the ultimate victory over Germany in uh, April of 1945.